What, what, what is that? Yes, hi, I'm Emo, and I cut myself. Let's talk about New Moon. So I just came back from New Moon, hence this hysterical tone in my voice. It, it was really good, I mean, yeah, from an objective point of view. It was well made. The colours were very nice, it was like a piece of art, very beautiful, and, well, the vampire's makeup was, I think, a bit too exaggerated. I mean, I still love them. Uh, I'm more of a pro-vampires than pro-werewolves. This movie just makes me feel like I have no hope at all to find anything good in this life. If you read the books, you get to witness a part of uh, Bella's life. Even if she goes through lots of things, terrible things, scary ones, she ends up being immortal and filthy rich. <laughs> Who doesn't want that, you know? I guess if you're immortal you, and you're not stupid, you can find a way to make money. You know, and you can kill people any time and steal their fortunes. You see those actors and you look so beautiful. It's heartbreaking, seriously. I just look at Christine Stewart. Well, she's, I mean, I find her beautiful in general. Um, not just as Bella, but she is, in this movie, she's just gorgeous. Oh my god, she looks amazing. <laughs> and I just look at her and I'm like, I'll never be as pretty as she is. No matter what I do, no matter how much money I have, I will never be, I will never have that beauty, you know, of hers, of hers. not necessarily her beauty, but the beauty, not perfection, but, you know, Edward, I mean, not, not Robert Pattinson, and not, I don't know, not the fact that he's immortal, or that he's a vampire, all that stuff, you know, those are just details to make the story more spicy. A person that is so well educated and you know a gentleman, a true gentleman. That also looks good, of course. Um, I mean not like a model because those guys just... I don't want to go that way. Oh god. I'm so sad because I don't want to end up like, you know, the girl who waits for the right guy for her entire life and never finds him, I have no hope left right now, because in a few hours or tomorrow I'll probably forget about all this. So if you're a vampire or over over 30, you should call me. I would like to meet asexual people. The new moon just crushed my reality and just uh, turned it around it made me see that. Reality kind of sucks. You have to accept the second best all the time. You never get what you want.